We're in 1917, and Vladimir Lenin has just stormed the Winter Palace and seized control of Russia, declaring a Soviet state. This occurred after Russia's submission in the Great War, the signing of Bretslavosk has plunged Russia into chaos, and Lenin is assassinated in 1918 while the Civil War still rages on. Germany is terrified of a Red Russia in the East, and decide to send material support to the Whites, eventually toppling the Bolsheviks by 1920, where a new Russian Republic with the head of state as Alexander Kerensky is proclaimed. Now we're in 1936, and the situation is dire. Kerensky, just like Lenin, is assassinated and the threat of civil war is now a reality again. Could the Republic survive these next 10 years? Would the collapse of the Reichspact lead to peace in the world, or would the Iron Curtain splitting the syndicalists from the Russians be ripped open into another full continental war? And we cannot forget the enemy in the East, the rising sun, to be another problem Russia must endure. Hi, I'm Colonel Cam, and this is Nine Years as the Russian Republic in Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich. Hello guys, and welcome to another Kaiserreich video. Really quickly before we get into the video, please like and subscribe. A lot of time and effort goes into these videos, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed and, you know, did everything to grow my channel. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. If we can get that, I'll be a very happy man. I want to become known in the Hearts of Iron 4 community on YouTube or something like that. Anyway, let's get into the video with the assassination of Kerensky. Alexander Kerensky, the president of the Russian Republic, was shot and killed by an assassination assassin while he was climbing the steps to the Senate House. A shot that will ring across the world. There we go, we get political, we get political instability, lose political power. Oh dear, and world tension goes up. Great, all right, <laughs> that's no good. Anti-democratic forces plot in the shadows too. Peter Rangel, the Black Baron, and Field Marshal, this guy, have independently drawn their plans on seizing control of the state for this exact occasion. They have no reason to play ball with the parliamentarians in Moscow now that Kerensky is gone after all. It is bound to leave a lasting impact upon Russian history. Okay, so we got four decisions here, and we want to maintain the Russian Republic. That's what we're going to go for. So I think what we need to do is do the Mensheviks agree to the coalition of the plural left. So we lose a bit of stability, but uh, we've got to appoint an acting president. So I think we can appoint anyone except this guy. Uh, we're going to go this guy, who was like the right-hand man of Kerensky. So the PSR becomes a ruling party. And yeah, we'll just keep the right-hand man. There we go. This guy, look at him. White hair. It's pretty cool. Political power gain as well. That's not too bad. This mod is so in-depth. It's crazy. Like, every leader has their own backstory. And feel free to read all of the things that I'm just, like, skimming through for you guys. Because I don't want to show it all here. You might, you guys might get bored. So i got to speed it up somehow. So feel free to read it, though. Democracy in Russia shall prevail. You guys can read that. Um... There we go. 4% stability. We desperately need it. Almost three weeks ago, the Berlin Stock Exchange plunged into bottomless depths, throwing Germany's economy into unprecedented crisis. Now the shockwaves of the crash have reached Russia. German and Austria-owned companies have closed down or laid off their workers. The Russian ruble is losing value and resource exports are shrinking. But this isn't actually that bad of a debuff. It's only like economic depression. So we lose a bit of stability. Um, and then we can get corporative capitalism. All right, so it's not too bad. Yes, uh, Russia is off to a very shaky start here. It's uh, crazy, like, how many paths you can go. It makes me wonder, like, what happens if democracy doesn't prevail? We might have to return to Russia at some point late in the, in the future. Anyway, um, let's start doing cooperative capitalism because there's nothing like capitalism in Russia and alternate history. And this leads to a bunch of things like industry in Urals and Siberia. It's a good idea to move a bunch of industry out here so no one can get it, all right? We move it out here, no one gets it. It's pretty good. Peasant unrest, no one cares. <laughs> no one cares about the peasants, man. Forget about the peasants. Uh, colonel, colonel of Russian army and hero of the World Korea Russian Civil War. Okay, so we got, we lose political power, but we get two division, two uh, Russian divisions. You know what? Why not? This might be a good template. And if they're a good template, yeah. Look, they're elite. They're veterans. Okay, they're not a great template. <laughs> they're not that they're particularly good. Now that Kerensky is gone and the new people are in charge. He has officially pe petitioned to the government to amend the constitution and evaluate the church to the status of a state religion. So we can repeal Article 5, get stability, add state orthodox, political power cost. Ooh, people, group population goes up. Oh, just Russia shall, shall stay safe. We're going to repeal Article 5. We get people out of it. All right, it's good. Now, the way Kaiserreich does uh, focus trees and focuses is very different to Van Vanilla Hoi 4 because a lot of them are locked behind dates or they just bypass when you've done, done certain decisions. It's very different. So there's like, I'm like wondering what happens with this. Anyway, you'll have a look. The main political branch, but it doesn't become available to us 
it doesn't say when it will become available to us. It'll just be bypassed at a time. I think probably in like a year or something. I'm not sure. But uh, let's go decentralized logistics, all right? Supply consumption and our, our special forces, all right? Three divisions actually we can send. So we'll send them out near as well. So we'll chuck these guys there, give them the star, send volunteers and the three divisions here. Perfect. All right, off to Spain to these guys. Now, 1937, a lot of diplomacy was happening this year, you know, we were securing Central Asia and doing different, you know, different alliances and all this kind of stuff. You'll see, it's a good, great year. Now, let's send divisions to uh, Romania, Serbia, or Greece. I mean, we can do all of them if we want. Two divisions, um, where, should we send Mountaineers? Actually, we'll send to Greece and we'll get Mountaineers, just get the rest, two Mountaineers away. Standoff in America. Whoa. All right, we're gonna support the Pacific states because I think they're the ones we should support. And at last, we would finally be able to go down the political path of our focus tree, the political branch of our focus tree. It's uh, governing in Russia, the choice is mine or something. Just have a look. Russia, more than a year has passed since our assumption of power and we have brought some measure of stability to the country. Changes to our political system could bring even more stability or maybe not. The Russian Republic seems fine as it is. The decision is yours. We get stability and uh, we complete focus political stabilization. There we go, 79% stability now. We finally did that focus that was blocked behind. So we want to do the Republic survives and then we got to do empower the Duma, right? And all this is uh, very good because I don't know, we're a democracy and democracy wins. Democracy is great. So after we finish Wealth of Siberia, we'll go and do the Republic survives. So, all right, these guys are democracy dudes. Um, the two divisions that we have up there, they'll do. Perfect. Oh my gosh, are they going to spread out, like, decently? I don't know. No, I think we'll get political advisor, though, because they're kind of more important right now. People's Economist. No railway. Captain of industry. Elusive gentleman. Political power gain. And oh, this guy's good. Look at him. He's a great compromiser. He's good at compromising. Look at that. 5%. That's not a lot, but... 33% down on other political advisors, so they only cost 100 instead of 150. Now that's a good investment. And you can, guys, you can read that. It's 4% stability, which is great. We do these, and there's one more left. And now, the Republic survives, in spite of the chaos that Russia was plunged into following Kerensky's death and subsequently Black Monday, the Republic has survived in spite of it all. The people have made their voices clear. Now they look to, uh, they look to us to keep the flame of liberty going. 10% stability, seven days, beautiful. And we've got the election coming up uh, pretty soon as well. There's an election that's supposed to be happening in, when is it, June? Literally next month, all right. He falls ill, okay. Finland has requested grain. Sure. More than a year has passed since Kerensky's death shook the Republic, and his successors have managed to preserve democracy in Russia. For the Republic, a new election will be held in 1937. Ready? It's gonna happen any second now. Hang on, we gotta do this. Tolerant Republic, encourage free, free thought. Research speed, yes please. Finally, we would have the elections that were long awaited in Russia. Now, I don't think it actually matters who we chose in this election because we're already a democracy, so it can't really you can't really mess it up. So, I just picked one at random. I just I didn't really it wasn't random. I just I just picked one anyway. Whatever was the most popular at the time, I picked. That's it. As the dust of the political campaign in the first truly free elections in Rus Russia settles and the new Duma gathers, the results are as follows. So, we get to decide. Now, uh it all it doesn't matter, right? This is all democracy, so Unless we do like, I don't know, should we, do we do, men, we can, so we can do the social democracy ones, we can do the center left, return to normalcy, I think we might do the market liberal one, because they're the ones pr promoting Eurasianism and whatever. Now, PSR, so we should probably go PSR, just because we want the party popularity to stay, yeah, that's ours form a center left coalition. Okay, so it's the same guy, you know, he led through the struggle. It's all good. I spent way too long deciding on who to pick on that election. I had to cut out a bunch of it because I was too busy just decide. I couldn't make my mind up. I had no I, it's, I do this all the time. I do this in my real life as well. I can just never make my mind up for, for anything. So, well, I'm glad I picked one in the end and I just chose whatever was the most popular. So, it's fine. Anyway, moving on. Political power gain, compliance, growth, speed. You know what? That's pretty good, because when we do go into Central Asia, all these will have to integrate them and whatnot, and so it's better to get the compliance like that. Now we can start going down here as well. Real politic expansionism. 
Wall support, wealth tension is increased. Wall support, no stability. Okay, we don't need the stability though. Unlocks potential alliances. Unlocks extra expansion options against Poland, Austria, Romania, Persia, and Afghanistan. I'd rather do alliance because we are a democracy, right? Like it would make sense. We can't just go like, we're a democracy, but expansionism. Like that would make much sense. So we're gonna go real politic, get hopefully alliances with Finland. That would be nice. Romania, Georgia, Mon yeah, Mongolia, 100%. Get, we also create Moscow Accord, so yeah, let's go real politic. That's good. Oh, we've done real politic. All right, there we go. We got the Moscow Accord. There we are. Look at our faction. One country, but don't worry, it's gonna grow. All right. Now we do have the opportunity to enemy in the east, but I want to do that after the German War because I don't want to fight Japan and then get stuck in Japan, like stuck here. But we are gonna get these lands back. Don't worry. I'm just gonna deal with Germany first. So, but I do want to secure Central Asia. So let's go down there. Gets claim on Tuva, all of this Central Asian stuff. 28 days, we declare war on them as soon as we uh, do that. So let's get an army. Actually, we'll get two armies. Should we get the fast? We'll get the fast moving army just because I want it to be over quickly. Now enjoy this montage of my conquests of Central, I mean I mean peacekeeping of Central Asia. Yes, not, not conquest, peacekeeping. Leave a comment saying definitely peacekeeping, not conquest, I believe you. Thank you. Anyway, enjoy the montage. Now, while this was all happening, I actually invited Finland into my faction. I was like, hey, Finland, do you want to join Moscow Accord? It's pretty cool down here. And then, they, and then they had the audacity to say no. They rejected me. Can you believe it? So well, we weren't happy about that. Finland. What did Finland say? Surely, surely they say yes. Finland refuses. What are you talking about? They're literally said, stop improving. Hmm, we lose political power. Finland, you absolute bot. Finland rejecting our outstretched friendly hand was an absolute disgrace towards our nation and if they weren't going to be our friend then they would have to be our enemy. But I'm not a fan of you right now. I'm not a fan of you Finland. Academy of Sciences Road to War unlocks decisions to attack isolated countries. Finland! Finland! Oh dear. Deary me, Finland. Hopefully this counts as an isolated country, because it said make alliances with isolated countries and Finland popped up. So if you can attack isolated countries, then that'd be pretty good. All right. Meddling in Poland, there we go. The Polish elections of 1938 looking extremely tense. The Austrian-backed liberal coalition, these guys, is making an attempt to dethrone the supporters of King August the Fourth. Yeah, Roman, what? <laughs> and the Polish nationalists are asking for our support towards their cause, which we could provide by funneling funding to pro-Russian elements of the, cons uh, of the conservative discreetly make sure they win yes you know we're a democracy but we don't actually care about democracy okay we don't care about the democracy of other countries we care about the democracy of our country <laughs> that's all we care about all right road to war can oh demand Karelia. there it is there it is all right Finland if you're not going to be allies with us then uh, we must do this Right. They transfer of Karelia. There we go. They managed to agree to the transfer of the large part of Karelia into the term for the monetary and material compensation as well as the guarantee for security of our new borders. Another victory for Russian diplomacy. There we go. Remove decision demand Karelia. We get, we get Karelia. Uh, yep. And we 5,000 infantry equipment to Finland. All right. Whatever, man. Whatever. All right. Good. You're lucky. All right. Good choice. You made the right decision. Well done. You know, that was actually pretty fun. I'm enjoying bullying other countries on our border. So now that we dealt with Finland, we've just had a go at them. We've got to go to Mongolia now, bully them for a bit. There we go. An army is coming to you, Mongolia. We helped you, but then you had a coup or something. So now we're not helping you. All right, we're going to press the button. Seize Tuva. Give it to us, Mongolia. All right, start listening for the absolute coolest speech in existence. Are you guys ready? Are you listening? Okay, listen, Have a li just listen to this. The general line of thought among the Russian populace, intellectuals and politicians is that Russia needs to wait, observe and descend like a hawk when Germany is focused elsewhere. Cunning has saved Russia in countless wars before and this moment will be no different and we can't wait to watch Berlin burn. 2% stability, 5% war support. I cannot wait either. 
Mongolia surrenders. Good. Nice. Thank you, Mongolia. Now we'll be leaving. Dude, I'm just going around bullying people. This is so fun. I'm just going around, hey, give us this. Hey, give us that. Any, anything else we can do? Russia may hold ambitions of retaking the West, but even the most radical Russian nationalists can tell that she will not be able to challenge Germany in this state. Her military industry has been neglected and her economy is not yet ready. You're not yet ready to outproduce the West. Okay, so you can read the rest of that. We can either limited expansion or anything to reclaim. We lose, you know what? I don't care about stability or political power. We're doing this. Military factories and civilian factories. Sheesh. Defend democracy. Russia is quickly becoming recognized as the bastion of democracy, but things don't look so well elsewhere in the world. It is our duty to defend democratic movements in other nations, lest they fall to autocrats until our nation is surrounded by enemies. Modify empowered Duma. Division attack and defense on core territory, plus 10%. Mm. All right, we're gonna go to limited conscription. We're running down, running out of manpower a little bit, so yeah. Now, war with Germany was around one year away, so I wanted to make sure that we got some collab governments on Ukraine, Belarus, and that Baltic country. I don't know what it's called, United Baltic Duchy or something. Yeah, I wanted to get collab governments so we could pitch them quickly. Uh, well, a lot quicker than it would take normally. Collab government there. I am going to refuse to make the same mistake that I've made in the past playthroughs so far. I am going to make a Coast Guard right now. Yes, I'm going to have a good template and it's going to cover every single port that's not going to get easily overwhelmed. I'm not going to get naval elevated every three months by around, by the UK, all right? We're not gonna, that's not going to happen this time. We're going to make a good Coast Guard. we got a claims map. How good? Does this... Oh my gosh, we actually have all of our claims here. Dude, and then everything core, core is blue. All of our cores are blue and our claims are orange. They need this in Vanilla Hoi 4. Imagine if there was a map mode in Vanilla Hoi 4 where you can look at all the um, all of the states you need to form like a country. You know, look, we got claims on like Romania down here. Like, why is it? Maybe it's like potential claims. Hmm, don't know, but it's pretty good. What in the world? Benito Mussolini? Look at him in his suit and tie. The Socialist Republic of Italy. What? <laughs> that is so weird. Oh my gosh. All right, cool. Now you can tell this is just some like crazy ahistorical mod because there's no way in history Mussolini is going to be wearing a suit and tie. He would be wearing a military uniform 100 to seven days a week, 24 seven. He would sleep in a military uniform, but no, he's wearing a suit and tie here. It's hilarious stuff. That's out here. So we're going to build the infrastructure up because we are going to be fighting here no matter what, right? Okay, why did I build that one? That one's useless. There's no supply hub there. Here, you got to build up these two. Good. Oh, aggressive assault and offensive doctrine. Oh, he's good. This guy's good. I'm glad he's in charge of the attacking army. We'll just we'll just clean up Finland really quickly, and then yeah, we'll be right. Then just cover that front. Supply consumption negative 12%. Look at that. All right, it's gonna be very useful, especially in Finland. Yeah, the rest of the whole of 1939 was just spent preparing for the Great Patriotic War, as it will be known, where we reclaim our power on the world stage and, and we destroy Germany and their hegemony of countries that they have and of our land the control of our land is terrible anyway uh that's about it moving on to 1940 1940 this is the year where we invade wait where's the light tanks invade germany this is the year where the second great pat the great patriotic war will break out and we'll win because we're patriotic mass mobilization boom georgia joined the Reichs pact. yeah i didn't definitely saw that coming Definitely saw that. I did see that coming. I'm not being sarcastic. Yeah, Finland loved to send some mixed signals in this game. One minute they hated us, the next minute they wanted to improve relations. Like they want to improve relations right now, but you know what? We're we're just going to invade them at this point. I they joined the Reichs Pact, so it's fine. You know what? If we can like not go to war, I'm happy with this Finnish border. You know, I'm not, I'm not willing to go to war with Finland if we don't have to. So we're going to accept their advances, but they are in the Reichs Pact, so I'm very reluctant to assume that they're gonna be nice to us my head hurts it takes a lot more to do everything but i guess ugh, it's recruitable population factor you can't really can't really ignore that yeah mass mode mass mode finally it was time to crush the german hegemony our friends in ukraine in belarus in the baltic duchy 
they were going to be liberated from the German oppression and united under the Russian Republic for free democratic elections. I mean, who wouldn't want that? So it was time anyway to destroy Germany. The time has come for us to end the injustices inflicted from the First World Krieg and strike back at the damnable Kaiser. Bretzlovisk shall be avenged. We declare on Germany, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, and Ukraine. Oh, Ottoman Empire proposes a non-aggression pact. We will consider their offer. Yes, I, I will do an non-aggression pact because we're about to have a very big war. I don't like the way I don't like the way the planes are set up. They're really small groups that are easy to destroy. No, we're not doing this. All right, we're gonna do it my way. Now, as for the Ottomans, we had no desire to fight them. We would enact a conference and have a non-aggression pact, assuming that we would agree to the demands that each other that we had for each other. So, well, you're about to see the conference, and there's a quite a few demands that they wanted, and there's a few things that we wanted, and, well, just have a, have a look. Baku conference. May an agreement be found. All right, with a non-aggression pact, hopefully. Canada intervenes the American war. Oh, the matter of Georgia. Okay, so there's an issue with Georgia that we have to consider over Ottoman Empire. Long held by Russia, so I think it should be us. Uh, I'm not even going to read this. You guys can read it. Georgia shall be restored to, the, to Russia. Yeah, we demand annexation of Georgia. That's literally us, okay? I don't know where Batumi is. That's good. I think it might be this, right? So it's like this little state here. It was conquered by the Russian Empire in the 19th century, and the important port of Batumi was regained by the Ottoman Empire with the Treaty of Bretzlovisk. Yeah, we're just going to let's keep this open for the future. I'm not worried about that. The matter of Afghanistan. Tucks between our holdings and Central Asia. I'm not worried about Afghanistan, really. Uh, we desire... Yeah. Demand subjugation. Demands, okay, we'll do the one that's less bad, I suppose. Ottomans are proposed an Iranian buffer state, so let's do it with Iran. Why are we talking about Iran? Uh, we'll just agree with their with their terms. I'm not Iran, sure. Deal with that. You can have that, not mine. I mean, there's oil there, but you know we got plenty. That's all leased to the Germans. Jesus, Azeri buffer state. <clears throat> uh. Sure, we'll agree with their terms as well. Don't care, I'm worried about this. The London Straits Convention. Concluded on the 13th of July, 1841, the London Straits Convention has regulated traffic through the Turk Turkish Straits ever since. Ah, right, this treaty which stipulates not only Ottoman war warships can travel from the Black Sea to the Mediterranean has long been seen by as Russia with a slap in the face for our ambitions. As a discussion with the Ottoman Empire reaches their apex, the government is considering a push for Russian access through the Straits. Yes, I would appreciate it. This revised treaty would... Equate to restoring the treaty of this, whatever that is, however, might however seem too great a threat to the Ottoman Empire. Okay, look, we demand the passageway. You can have everything else, all right? We, we need that passageway. I'd appreciate it if you get our boats through there. The matter of Armenia. Um, a matter for another time, not concerned about Armenia. Ratification of the Russo-Ottoman Convention. As the Ottoman and Russian ministers of foreign affairs place their signatures under the now infamous, infamous Russo-Ottoman Convention of 1940, it seems that we will indeed achieve peace in the Caucasus. In fear, however, as the uncertain future discussed in broad strokes over a bottle of Raki <laughs> may soon take, take a turn for the worse. There we go, a victory of peace. We should have a non-aggression pact. Or something with these guys, all right? We should be on, on terms, good terms with the Ottoman Empire. I can't be bothered, you know, going to war with them. We don't even know how many people they got. Oh, Commune of France just declared war on the German Empire. Okay, this is really good timing. This is really good timing because we are about to declare war on the German Empire. So that's not too bad. You know, we can take them out, especially if we will have dominance over the air 100%. I mean, look at this. So they stand no chance. It was time. After our scheming with the Ottoman Empire, we had mobilized 2.5 million men on the border with the Reichs Pact. And after the declaration of war from France, we thought it was appropriate as well to declare war on Germany shortly afterwards. All right, there we go. Cross the German Hagen over here. Officially at war, the Osho Russo Ottoman Convention. I wonder why that just happened now. All right, we did that. We declared war on Ukraine. We declared war on. Oh, we, okay, military access. So I thought we declared clever on the Ottomans. I was like, what in the world? We declared war on Belarus. We declared war on Georgia and the German Empire, of course. Right, boom. There we go. Oh, look at this. It's doing well here. We're doing well. Our guarantee and indef independence was accepted by Persia. Persia and Azerbaijan. Our guarantee of independence was offered by Azerbaijan. Oh, we must have signed something with the Ottomans that did that. All right, whatever. Don't care. We're doing well in the air. Russia invades the Reich's Pact. Perfect. The Kingdom of Greece accepted. Welcome to the Moscow Accord, Greece. Welcome to the Moscow Accord. Look at them. Boom. What are they going to... They don't even have like a line, a front line with 
the right spec, but that's fine. We'll still win. The Great Patriotic War. History repeated. We are at war again with Germany. Now we must show them that the Slavs are united in the struggle against brutal regime colonizing Eastern Europe. Citizens, citizens in big cities attack everything which has German origin or is connected to the Reichspact. State officials already have launched massive propaganda directed towards youngsters to in, induce them uh, to enlist in the army or join the, in the factories. Musicians, poets, painters, and all other artists from all political factions except crazy monarchists and Bolsheviks have loudly announced their support for our regime. Now that all predominant parties are trading unions have declared a sacred union to not weaken Russia, we can safeguard our future. We will march through the Avenue des Champs, as says. There we go. Great patriotic, patriotic war for 730 days. Attack and defense, uh, recovery rate, party popularity, stability, war support. That is brilliant. All right. Can't lose. Now I had a plan. My plan was to attack Ukraine and Finland first, right? Finland and Ukraine, they'll be the first to go under any attacks. I didn't want to attack Belarus or the United Baltic Duchy yet because they had too many men on them. And with Ukraine, I had a special plan. We we're going to go through Crimea. We were going to break through Crimea. I made sure of it and encircle the entire army from behind. For now, doing well in Finland. Hopefully we do well in Ukraine. We actually might cross the border here into Crimea. Yeah, they've called a bunch of losers. All right. Calling a bunch of losers into the war, whatever you want, mate. You can do that. Well, in Ukraine, I'm going to increase the battle plan order. Except the cohesion is annoying. Stop this annoying cohesion. Why are you going? Where are you going, mate? What are you doing up there? Come on, get this encirclement. Yes. This is what we're talking about. This is what we play Hoi 4 for. Oh, yes, we just... Oh, this would be so good. This would be actually so good. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, we just press the button there. Yes, this would be so good. We get into Crimea, and we come up behind them. That'd be great. And then we get this army, which will finish in Georgia pretty quickly, and we get them going that way. That's the strat. That's the plan. That was the plan, and, uh, well, if that didn't work, we'd go to plan B. And plan B was just to throw men at them until they till they collapsed. Just press the attack battle plan until we won. But, uh, and evidently, we had some issues coming from over east. We need the kind of winning. I don't know. Who's just, please don't be Japan, please don't be Japan. Tra oh my god! Is that Japan? It better not be. Why are they justifying against us? Why? What reason do they have to do that? It invades the Far East. They have taken advantage of the unrest in Siberia to establish control over the region. While this is a great infringement to our sovereignty, we are currently very weak and we are, may not be able to win the war or to reclaim our lands, especially since fighting there may mean fighting Japan as well. It is useless to fight over an icy wasteland. Come and take it then. Who believe it? No. It is useless to fight over icy wasteland. Russia f refuses to intervene. I'm not bothered. All right. I'm going to keep this army here though. So what did that mean? I had just made a big mistake. I had no idea what I was agreeing to there, but well, you're about to find out. Oh, they fully just took all that? You're joking. All right, whatever, man. We'll come back. We'll come back for that, don't worry. Yes, so that was annoying, and I did end up signing a non-aggression pact with Japan for now. Wait, why did they... Non-aggression pact with Japan, yes. Oh, wait, why did I sign that? Am I stupid? Wait, no. How long? It, it won't last forever, so it's fine. This will, this, however, will last forever, this war. I'm not fighting them. Jeez, I'm not. All right, not right now. I'll come back for you. Back onto the Western Front. Uh, it is, yeah, Western Front in terms of Russia. All right, if it was Germany, it'd be the Eastern Front, but it's a Western Front for, for Russia. We did manage to pull off that encirclement for the majority. It wasn't, it wasn't all of the army, but it was a lot of it. it I promise it was a lot of it. There we go. Encirclement. Encirclement, I mean, it was already an encirclement. It was an encirclement within an encirclement, I suppose. They actually declared war on us. All right, all these guys. New army. I just want you to guard against these. What are a bunch of annoyances? What a bunch of losers. How oh, these guys actually declared war on me? They can't even have that many divisions. 13 to 30. Yeah, they're so weak. They declared war on Afghanistan? What are they? Who do they think they are? Who do these guys think they are? Then they're, they're not. 
You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Jeez. Blow me down. Join wars. Anyway, back onto the Western Front. Now that all of the troops had been encircled, well not all of them, a lot of them, they could not fill the gap in the actual front line, so we just walked through unopposed, most of, mostly. How's France going? Okay, they're not doing too well. Oh, they have to fight Spain as well. Ooh, that, yep, yeah, that'd be it. No, that would be uh, the reason they would lose. What level four? Level one fort. This you'd think they'd have like a level seven fort here or something. You'd think this would be the Maginot line. You'd think this would be the freaking Sudetenland border. No, no, this is the bloody some Georgian land next Ah, oh, our friends. Hello, America. Yes, I know we helped you. Now you'll pay us back and give us discounted fuel, right? Discounted? Yes? <laughs> this is my brother Bilo. <laughs> I need I need to stop. <laughs> Georgia capitulated, finally! Alright, all of these guys on the, uh, on the front line here. This is not enough of a front line. It needs to be longer. It needs to look cooler. Alright, by that, all the way up there. I'm glad Austria-Hungary aren't intervening. Close. There it is. Helsinki is ours. They are not going to capitulate there, so we must keep marching forwards. Onto Turku and then Vassa. Ooh, the USA just declared war on Japan. The United States of America. Declared war. Yeah, this one. Oh, these guys actually called the United States of America. Very good. All right, so they've gone to war with Japan. Good. I like to see that. We might help them out later. Yeah, we will help them out later. Ah, there we go. Finland capitulated. Beautiful. So now we've just got a few pockets of a. Uh, what was that? I had like a, a buzzing. Anyway, maybe it was my phone. I don't know. Anyway, a few pockets of resistance of what Germans and Poles and. Whatever. Yes, our first target of attacks had capitulated, and it wasn't long before our second target, Ukraine, would also capitulate. Ukraine is at 99%. Maybe we don't have to take Kiev. We can take anything, right? I know getting Kiev is, like, kind of what we want to be doing and all, but... No, we take Kiev, it's like a symbol. You know, it's like a... How do I explain it? Mir, right? Railway gun. Go! Where are you going? Front line's that way. You're going the wrong way, mate. Where is it? Front line's over there. What are you doing? You're gonna go. You're gonna go by boat. You're gonna trans. Oh, yep. Yeah, no, we're going by boat. All right. Okay. Cool. Railway gun by boat. Cool. You know, I don't want to tra travel along the river. Maybe. Come on. Go. Oh, we still got one more. All right, yeah, we've won. There we go, there it is. 10K guns, that's not a lot usually. Okay, so, look at all this now. Now we just have to ensure that we're gonna go this army, we're gonna put these guys on the front line with the guys we're at war with, which is here. We're not gonna extend it all the way up there, obviously. Oh, obviously, so it's gonna come down, it's gonna come down, it's gonna go around. Also, oh, it like ext extrudes like that. All right, yeah, it's gonna stay there. Good. All right, that goes onto there. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of that. And then this pink army, yep, will stay here. And I guess uh, get rid of that. Perfect. All right, just make sure we get everything. Now the capitulation of Ukraine actually led to Austria-Hungary joining the war. And you know, two can play that game. So if they wanted to join the war, I got Romania and Serbia on in my side. Many asked to join our alliance. Yes, it is time to put this feud behind us. Romania joins the Moscow Accord, perfect. Serbia joined the Moscow Accord. We have some friends that... The fall of Minsk. We got Minsk. All right, we got to have a collab government against these guys as well. So we get rid of Capitula, get rid of Callable. Belgium, no, 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 where's... There we are. They're already 63. Beautiful, and then these Baltic guys will... Just capitulate quickly as well because we've all got collabs it's very good this is the one thing about getting collabs the fall of kiev oh we finally got it okay good yes it is officially over for them yes they were falling out of the sky like i don't know birds getting hit by slingshots or something i don't know anyway it was so bad even wilhelm died oh the kaiser died all right looks like we got another one yeah we got this guy to deal with hmm I'd like to think that he saw the fall of Kiev and Minsk within a few days of each other and had a heart attack or something. It just collapsed. G 
German Empire declared war on Poland. Oh! Oh! Wait, does that mean we can invite Poland to our faction? No. We can, I'll exert heroism though. I want to keep the royal support up. Good! Poland, look at this! They're nationalist, populist, but that's fine. It's anything to prevent Germany doing good. Petitions to join our alliance. Today we have received a dip diplomatic delegation from Poland. Of course. Join the Moscow Accord. Now, do we have a way to get to them? Soon we do, soon we do, soon we do. We can go on everything. The fall of Riga. The pearl of the Baltic is ours. That is correct. They've just capitulated. And look at this, they're all, they're all in a circle now like this. All right, perfect. Now we just come up here and then we instantly move down into into like Germany, literally Germany. I was driving by my, okay, I need to stop singing that, man. Every time Poland is mentioned in this game, I start singing, I love Poland. I just can't stop it, man. It's, uh, it's either that or it's like the, 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 the Polish cow song. It's like da 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 but What am I talking about? Can I focus on the game, please? I'm singing <laughs> Polish cows. Does anyone know what this song is? I actually would be curious. Does anyone know what the Polish cow song is? Hillary's capitulated. Some guns and oh, this is just a mess. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at anywhere I can go in. No, it's all just Reich's Pact. And then that's all Moscow Accord. So it's wherever they weren't. That's fine, but we can get a good encirclement. Lithuania capitulated. There it is, okay. So there's all the Lithuanian troops gone now. Surely this gap will be easier to close now. The United Syndicalist Italy. Look at that. Jeez, Socialist Republic of Italy is existing now. Yes. All right, we've closed the encirclement. Blue army, entire blue army goes on that. All right, no blue army anywhere else. Now I wonder how the peace deal plays out because I'm not really sure what happens. The peace deals with this mod, Kaiserreich, is actually so much better than it is in Vanilla Hoi 4. Like, in Vanilla, you just have to, like, kind of guess what's happening in the peace conference. But when you do it in this, you try and just annex everything you can, and then you do the decisions afterwards based on whether you want to puppet the nation, split the nation between your allies, or annex it yourself. Or It's such a good peace conference, like, system. It's so great. Yes, it's fallen. That's got to be, yep, Austria-Hungary just capitulated, or the Danubian Federation. Literally, same thing. All right, look at this. Oh, that's a mess. All right, we're going to wait till it evens out a bit. Look at all these Brazilian divisions just doing nothing. Oh, we got the Chinese United Front here. Yeah, we got the Japanese Co-Prosperity Sphere, not doing too well. Cairo Pact, Entente. There's a lot of factions in this mod, jeez. And USA have not done anything. Oh, oh, they're all Japan's, but I okay. have not done anything. Okay. The fall of Munich means this, that southern Germany is ours. Yes, that's right. Reports from Berlin confirm the German city has been captured by advancing Russian troops after long. And this is where we, we're watching Berlin burn right now. Remember when I said we can't wait to watch Berlin burn? Look, there we are. It's burning, right? This is all over for the German Empire. That's it. Berlin burns and I have more military factories I need to assign before. Oh, look at all that. Good, and I want to do all this. Yes, exoterrorism. Now, what's the capitulation? 64. I cannot believe Brazil is a major. That won't screw things up. It better not. I swear to God. Remember that encirclement we got a while ago when Lithuania capitulated? This is that encirclement now. Massive encirclement. This is like half the Austrian army. We got the whole Belgium army in here. Romania expels Iron Guard. Good. Unthinkable has occurred today. German forces fighting in Europe have finally collapsed under the weight of invading armies. With nowhere left to run, the Kaiser and his cabinet met, have met an agreement that complete surrender was imminent within days. Humiliation of Brett Slavisk is gone. All right. Oh, okay, so we're still, they're still fighting. All right. Um, I'm just going to watch this. Oh! Oh, we got the peace conference. Okay, thank God Brazil is still a thing, but let's not worry. Okay, so we just have to annex everything because I think that's how it works. Now, I'm very, I'm going to annex all this, right? Look at all this. This is all rightful, you know, we're just going to do it the uh, the good way. So that's all that. Where's Ukraine? Select all. Where's Belarus? United Baltic Duchy, done. Belarus. Select all. Georgia. Nizars. 
Oh yes, I want to annex all this as well. This is all mine. I'm just annexing as much as possible. See, what's, f like, I don't know how the peace conferences work here. You know what, we're just going to annex all of Finland. Alright, because we can. Is that how the peace conferences work? Anything else? I'm going to submit those demands. What are they contesting? That? No, it's ours. Um... What's wrong with me just doing this? Will this screw up the peace deal? I can do it. I'm just gonna... Just gonna do this. Hope there's events that fix this. I'm making a mess right now. But I can select all of it. So, why not? Oh my gosh, I just selected all of it. You know what? We'll take Albania too. And we'll take... Uh, those. Yep, that's all ours. Alright, I'm going to take all theirs. Select all the East Indies. Select the Netherlands. And select Italy. I can do all of it. Alright, we're going to select all demand. I did do the whole war, to be fair. Good. I'm going to take that and we're going to take that's not worth anything all right that's everything all right good confirm and exit uh, treaty of vienna now that is not the end of the peace deal in kaiserreich the peace deal is done in two stages you've got that which is the peace deal and then we've got the decision making which is a bunch of decisions you click and you choose the fate of certain states and areas or regions inside and what to do with it so Let's start that right now. Oh, we got the fate of all of this. All right, so let's go through all this. Um, the fate of the Baltic states. Integrate the Latvian lands. The fate of Ukraine. Liberate, liberate a republic of you. Liberate. Oh, it's a minute. Reintegrate. Yeah. Uh, regains claim. There we go. We're gonna integrate. Fate of white. Uh, Belarus. Reintegrate. Fate of Georgia. Reintegrate. Finland. We're gonna liberate a Finnish republic. There we go, look at this. Uh, fate of Austria, Albania, we're gonna restore an autonomous Albania. Fate of Austria. Military occupation is the only one. Uh, Alpha Austria becomes, Danube becomes puppet. Yeah, we must liberate them. There we go, fate of Bulgaria. Release Republican Bulgaria. New Guinea, give it to Indonesia, fate of the Netherlands, liberate the Netherlands, and fate of Lombardy, release the Italian Republic as a puppet. Okay, oh, I like I like that. And, well, Germany and all this is still unknown because we're still fighting them apparently. Yep, they're still kicking around, and we're not at war with Brazil anymore, which is which is good. Estonia, integrate, fate of Brest. Simulate. Lithuania. Reintegrate. Fate of Southern Tyrol. Split it between... Yeah, yeah we'll do that. Fate of Alain at land. The Baltic Island. Oh. Uh, give it to Finland. Fate of Hungary. Release a minimal Hungarian state. Fate of Bosnia. Bohemia, sorry. Sorry, I, oh my gosh, I'm blind. Uh... Liberate a Czech or a Czechoslovakian? We'll go Czechoslovakian. Yep, beautiful. Croatia. Give it to our Serbian allies. And Northern Epirus. Give it to our Greek allies. Yay! Everyone's happy. So maybe you should have player-led peace conferences on with uh, Kaiserite because then you can take everything and then do all this yourself. Burgerland. Um, give it to... Austria, fate of Vojvodina, give it to Serbia, oh, yep, Bosnia, give it to Serbia, Dalmatia, give it to Serbia, Slovenia, Serbia again, uh, Waterstock, nope, it's ours, Galicia, oh, look at all this, under friendly government, give it to Republic of Poland, integrate, 
Ukraine Galicia and liberate Polish Galicia. Yeah, we'll do that. That makes sense. Oh no. Annex Ukrainian Galicia and give Krakow and liberate. No, we're going to do this one. Oh, oh, what in the world? Okay. You know what? Fine. Anything else? Yep, more. Serbia forms Yugoslavia. There we have it. That's great. Fate of. Okay, we only have one choice. Presburg. Give it to Czechoslovakia. Trieste. Um, give it to them. Kotor. Give it to Serbia. Or even, ah, oh, give it to. Yep, they can have it. West Banat. Uh, Romania. Romania hasn't got anything yet, so they can have it. Give it to. Look, this is a peace conference right now. I'm doing this. Uh, where? I think it's something like here. Here, we'll give it to. Um, give it to Austria. Austria can have it. Okay. And yep. Fate of the Danubian Plain. Give it to Czechoslovakia. All right. It belongs to them. Istria. Give it to the Italians. And we got Germany. All right. Let's go. Select. Oh, we can't select all. Hmm. We're going to select all and then unselect the ones over here until we can submit demands. Can we submit demands yet? No. How many? Oh, we don't have that many. Uh oh. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, sh Fine. Confirm and exit. The fate of East Order. Release a loyal Prussian state. Give it to Polish allies. Loyal Prussian state. Yes. What is this? What, where, what land is this? Give it to it's, it's Italians. Oh, sure. Oh, it's that. Oops. That was probably... Should have gone to Yugoslavia. Whatever. I wonder what France is going to do with all this. Alright. What's the Moscow called? Hey, look at us. Ooh. Dude, the peace conference actually kind of worked out, apart from this little, oh, free socialist republic of Germany. Yep. Okay. Where's Edward Benesh? He should be in charge. Yeah. Uh, give it to Prussia. Fate of Posen, give it to Prussia. Fate of East Prussia, give it to Prussia. What? Where's the rest of this? They should also go to Prussia. What about this? Yeah, here we go. Fate of Marisa, give it to Prussia, and then this one, also give it to Prussia. Memel, assimilate into Russian territory. That's ours. End of the Russo-Ottoman Convention. Look at this. Lovely text here. Anyway, uh, cancel non-aggression pact. A non-aggression pact. Did I just sound Irish for a sec? For what? Okay, give it to Prussia. There we go. Right, anything else? I think we're done. Finally! Alright, let's send an army over here. Whoa, that was a uh, long peace deal process, but it was actually very good, and then the map turns out very neatly. Like, that was a pretty clean map. Actually, very clean map. Compared to most Hoi 4 games, that was very good. Anyway, we now turn our focus towards this little annoying bit on Siberia and Vladivostok. We're actually an insane. How did Netherlands join up action? How did we get a... Looking good. I don't get this over. All right, we still have a focus we haven't done. Enemy in the east. Hey, you think I'd forget about them? No. Ever since the Russo-Japanese War, the true enemy of Russia has always and will has been and always will be the rising empire in the east. The extremely rich and populous regions of China would also serve us very well. There we go. Claims on these islands and war goal against Japan. All right, we gotta get be able to get to Japan. That's defeating these guys. Um, they're annoying. Might have to do something about that now. The Russian elections of 1942. Alright, um, we all know that both Houses of Parliament, you guys can read that, I will make a decision based on whatever I want, and... Oh, look at this, this guy gets political, they should make it more like that, where they, all the different leaders have, like, because this is the only one I'd actually go for, look, he gets political power and stability. 
Right, but RS becomes fine. This one. Because we get political power and stability. Look at this guy. Oh, it's a woman! I didn't even realize. Look at that. We're blue now. We're blue on the ideology map. If we go to the ideology, boom. We're blue. That's pretty cool, man. Social conservative. So we went from social... I don't know. To social conservative. I don't know. We went from something to something. Demand Armenia. Okay, wait till our, our dudes get there. Then we're going to demand it, and then we're going to attack them. No matter what. Yeah, look at this. Oh! Transfer of Armini Armenia. Another victory. Oh! Beautiful. Okay. We're still going to attack you, though. We're going to attack Azerbaijan as well. Enemy in the east, done. Alright, we got war goals on the rising sun. Alright, we got war goals on them. We're going to attack the sun, guys. Alright? <laughs> We're going to go into the sky, and we're going to attack the sun. It's going to work, I promise. Yep. And Vladivostok. That should be them capitulated. Oh, we can't actually see. Yep, it is. Um, select all. Submit demands. Perfect. Take navy. They got nothing. Confirm that exit. That's it. It's all ours again. All right, now. Galicia desires union with Poland. Okay. Oh, really? Iron Curtain, do you say? Where is this Iron Curtain, do you think, Churchill? Where is Churchill? Union of Britain. You over, you over here, Churchill. Where are you? Cur <laughs> Iron Curtain? Where, is, is it this? You're talking about the democracy? Oh, you would. You would be. Look at this. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Do you want me to read this? I'm gonna read it. I gotta read it. Okay, you guys can read the rest. A new age in world history. 5% stability. A twilight struggle. Mm. And then they all get the Iron Curtain speech. Right. Interesting. Should I not? Hmm. I think I should. Boom. For Japan. All right, here we go. We're gonna reclaim this land. It's ours. In fact, the whole thing is gonna be ours now. Not just half of it. The Iron Curtain has descended upon Europe, and without the invention of nuclear weapons, which obviously haven't been invented yet because it's 1944, there was nothing stopping a full frontal war breaking out, so I decided to declare war. Uh, the Netherlands has fallen over Europe. Look at this, we got this Italy, we got Greece, look at this, the Iron Curtain, man, of democracy. Except Romania. Romania's a paternal autocrat. You better become democratic, Romania. This is a crazy, like, setup, man. The Iron Curtain. Now, we've got to deal with Japan, though. What do we got here? I'm going to go back to export focus. One hundred divisions. Look at this. A hundred more divisions are going to be deployed in uh, what? Where should we deploy them? Riga, because we can. Oh, dude. And we still have so much manpower. We still have so many guns and rocket artillery. And oh my gosh, like these are the divisions as well. They got two rocket artillery in them. All right, they're not weak. These are some pretty hefty divisions. So they should add logistics. Hey, I think get rid of like this and add logistics would be good. Yeah, we'll do that. Brilliant. Oh my gosh, we just got all all Ukrainian states in our cause. That is huge. Soon, then it's going to be Belarus soon as well. Yes, Ukraine. That's massive, actually. It's twelve million. There was like seven million. Now we're at twelve mil. Oh, this is so good, man. This is actually like, I love playing Russia. A hundred divisions. Look at, this. dude. What about I got? I got. What am I even going to do with a hundred divisions? I don't even have enough commanders for a hundred divisions. Anyway, split them in two. Good, 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 good. Um, okay, I guess we'll just spread them out throughout our entire army. I'm not gonna lie, I sat there for a while sorting out these divisions, trying to not go over the division limit of certain generals, and oh my, it was... <laughs> don't make me do it again, there's a lot of divisions. How do we lose? How do we have naval supremacy after that? I will never understand this game, because now it's all of a sudden we got naval supremacy and we got a naval invasion heading off. Alright, these guys, naval invasion support, please. Once we get that port, our whole army's coming here. I don't care if they have supremacy again. We're literally just going to make sure that all the divisions get here. Look, 60 divisions on this land. 
All right. Successfully invaded the main mainland. We got a we got a beachhead. Should probably should research marines at some point. That'd be a good idea. After being completely humiliated by the Russian army, yeah, we've just easily landed in them. Japanese has offered conditional surrender, offering a full retreat from the rightfully Russian regions they have illegally occupied. Their navy can do nothing besides blockading our ports on the Pacific coast, and their army has been almost entirely destroyed. Most military leaders and ministers say we should accept their conditional surrender, while a minority suggests we should push for total victory, considering our industrial superiority over the Japanese. Oh, I don't know if we should... Oh, I don't know, man. So if we accept their terms, uh, the Feng Ting government, which has already been capitulated, leaves the current prosperity sphere. Sakhalin and these islands become Russian-controlled. Enact a non-aggression pact with them. Truce until 1945. Russia accepts peace. No, we won't be satisfied until our army will march through the ruins of Tokyo. Not a chance for accepting peace. We lose war support. We lose stability. But we are refusing, right? We're just going to continue, you know? We're building... We need to completely destroy this fascist regime, man. This is an evil regime that's been going on, all right? We can't have it. Can't have it existing on this earth. Oh, all right, we're getting nukes. Uh, where are the nuclear... There they are. Where should we build them? Should we just... Hmm, Siberia seems like the best place to build them, you know? Nuclear reactors out here, not harming anyone if they explode. Or should we just build... Where's Kiev? We should build one in Kiev. Chernobyl. Or is that Chernobyl? Somewhere here is Chernobyl. All right, there we go. We're building the Chernobyl nuclear reactor right now. Go, And there's the capitulation of the Japanese government. All right. Oh, the Americans will have some say in this. Actually, they might not. All right, well, we're annexing. we are just going to annex all of it, to be honest. Annex as much as we can, and we'll go from the north down. Yeah, I think we can get all of it, hey. The Americans were at war with Japan for a long time, but I'm surprised they don't have more score. Next, Korea. This as well. This will be ours. This, all these islands, alright? they will be ours. Can I just select all? Yeah, I <laughs> should have just done that from the start. There we go. We got a uh, German East Asia. No, Germany, you're not. Oh, Burma as well. Select all. Alright, I think. They can contest us in this peace deal. No! Go away. Dude, this is the worst part. Having to do this. I wish there was a button where you could just spam this. There we go. Alright, that's everything. And obviously the Japanese Navy. Can't be forgetting that. Perfect. Confirm and exit. Alright, so we should be getting... Uh, there we go. Cool. We've extended into Japan. Alright, let's get this army back to our western, western border. We're Japan. Fate of Korea and the fate of Burma. Okay, let's start with Burma. So we got this. Um, liberate a Burney, Bur Burmese Republic. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the best thing we can do. Uh, fate of Korea. Military occupation. Well, we, it's not really making sense to do an occupation, otherwise we'd have it connect to our land. So we're just going to go liberate a loyal Korea. There we go, the Republic of Korea. Look at this. Look at the Korean flag and all that. If we were communist, it would be Kim Il-sung. <laughs> Not good. And then here we go. The fate of Japan. Uh, I'm not going to do military occupation. It is Japan. We're going to release a transitional government for Japan, right? I don't know what that means, but sure. Here we go. we got all of our states that we want to occupy. Oh, we've even got Taiwan. That's pretty good. Uh, release an independent Taiwan. Why not? So we got Taipei over here. And the fate of Hawaii. We should probably give the... Return them to the USA, yeah. Because the USA are technically our friends, and they did fight, help against Japan. So we'll return it to the USA. There you go. You got your level 10 naval base back. Uh, this this guy, Levy. Levy Olsen. Right. Uh, Azerbaijan called Ottomans into the war. Perfect. So now we're at war with the Ottoman Empire and Azerbaijan. Take them back into our territory. There we go. Liberated Azerbaijan. Yep, definitely liberated them. Fate of Azerbaijan. Reintegrate the lands. Good. Assimilate it into Russian territory. Oh, that was that little bit there. Cool. War propaganda. There we go. The Ottomans finally capitulated. All right. We can't, we can't select all? You're kidding, man. What is all this? Sultan of Syria and Iraq. They've been liberated or something? Okay, whatever. We take this, please. 
Who else is taking land? Perfect. Is that everything? No, we we'll take that as well. Fighting with Bulgaria, no. I did everything. And obviously we'll take their navy. Confirm an exit. Brilliant. And finally put a sick man in Europe in his grave, yes. Our troops now patrol the streets of Ankara, yet we cannot remain as occupiers forever. A decision will be made in regards to the future government of the Turkish people. We're not restoring the- allow the formation of a new Turkish Republic. Beautiful. Oh, what's all this? I guess that can go to Greece. I'm probably really going to give all that to Greece. There we go. Republic of Turkey. Beautiful. Uh, 1944. We're going to get into the big war. There we go. The Third International versus the Moscow Accord. Who will win? Will it be the combined syndicalists of Spain, France, Germany, and Britain, or the Moscow Accord and their Eastern European allies with Japan? Who will win? We'll find out next year. Paris against Moscow is a cool name. We will crush the revolution just like in 1814. That is right. We will crush the revolution just like in 1814. The Second World Creed did not end with Germany's fall, but continued as the Entente Internationale clashed in North Africa and in the North Atlantic. Now a new renewed hope for the Entente is lit in the forces of the Russian war machine. Along, all along the border between the Russian and French spheres, Sir Winston Churchill's twilight struggle has erupted into struggle for world order, so bloody it seems to put the war of 1939 to shame. Beyond the front lines, this and citizens are warring powers uh, of the warring powers are in danger like never before with the advent of serial death machines that threaten to obliterate whole cities within hours of declaration of war britain italy france easy that's easy this is hard though what's going on here it's because it's just all mountains don't worry we'll be fine da, da, da. look at all these encirclements Holy! I don't care if we're getting naval invaded, like, we're just destroying them on the main fronts. Look at that, we've already just, like, swept through northern Germany. Let's try, let's set up an invasion for Britain as well. So I'd probably, uh, let's just use, like, 24 of these guys. Actually, I probably could only use 10. And we're gonna go through the North Sea, because it's easier. But our victory over the Commune of France is all but assured. They're only at 50%. Alright, it's fine, whatever. We keep going. Okay, red army. Onto this, onto this here. Now we're going to hold it. Actually, no, we're not going to hold it. We're just going to push straight away because, well, we can. Now the rest of our army should be landing sometime soon. They're really going to go across the channel? Is that really the best thing? Why can't they just go through the... That's where the naval is. Oh my god, they're going to get sunk. They're going to get sunk. They're going to get sunk. Don't do it. Don't get sunk. Thank god. Okay, they survived. The fall of London. The beginning of the end. France is just about done. Britain is just about done. All that will be left is Italy, and well, we all know that. Italy, 30,000 guns! Thank you! Alright, now just clean these guys up. Begin to put. Yeah, there we go. Britain just capitulated. Win, there we go, we've won. There we go, there it is. Alright. Okay, we did all of that, okay? So Canada should have nothing, so let's go. Germany, select all. Uh, is this the. that? Yeah. Select all, select all. Oh. Yep, and then obviously France. You know, we're gonna cancel Britain, we're gonna do France first. Select all. And then actually we're gonna submit that. Britain, select all. Italy, select all. I'm just mostly concerned about all this. Select all, demand. Uh, you know what, I'll take some of this as well. And I wouldn't mind some of this. Just gonna take everything I can. What else can we take? It's a bunch of South America. Whoa! Why is Norway so expensive? Nine, nine, nine. Jeez. All right. No, <laughs> no, we're not taking Norway then. Jeez, that was uh, very expensive. Very expensive. So actually, no, they can deal with Mexico. I don't want Mexico. Uh, I'm selecting everything I can. I don't care about all that. 
to be fair. Union of Britain? Oh yeah, it was select all, demand. Norway is too expensive, Chile, don't care, Argentina, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, okay, the rest, I'm not, oh, maybe some African places, I'm assuming this is in Africa, oh yeah, we gotta select Chad, select all demand, select all demand, this will be the last peace conference of the, uh, of the video, because I am not doing another war, I don't know who to fight it against. Oh, we can t we we can afford the nine nine. <laughs> Let's go up here. Actually, we can afford this. That's mad. Yeah, look at that. We afforded all of Norway somehow. That was very expensive. You know what? Oh, I can't select all of Mexico. I'm done. Yeah, uh, good peace conferences, go. Good peace conference, guys. Well done. Nice peace conference. Okay. Now we've obviously got a lot of decisions to do, so let's speed up the game. Look at all these decisions we got to figure out. Oh, is there any? We're still at war. No, we're not. Yeah. Oh, Persia. That doesn't count. All right, let's just figure this out. The fate of Germany. Okay, we're going to, because we've been to war with Germany twice, splitting into smaller states would be kind of funny. I think we're going to form a German Republic. That makes sense. Yes, form a German Republic. So, there we go, the German state. Belgium. Uh, liberate a loyal Belgium. Fate of Romandy. We'll give it to, we'll give it to Switzerland. There we go, big Switzerland. Okay, France. Liberate, liberate France under a puppet government. There we go. Look at this. Oh, and there's all these little bits here, which is, they leave out, which is pretty cool. J Djibouti. Um, give it to Ethiopia. Italy. All right, we're going to give it to the Italian allies, because that makes sense. The Italian Republic. There you go. Enjoy your lots of Italy. Malta. Uh, release... Give it to our Italian allies. Give it to the British. Release Malta as a puppet. The fate of Tripolitania. Where is this? Tripoli. Where's Tripoli? Oh. Am I tripping? Where's Tripoli again? Oh, yeah. It's here. Of course. I was like, I, it's in Libya, right? I was hovering over Libya. I was like, what's going on? All right. Liberate Tunisia. Uh, liberate a loyal Algeria. Fate of Britain. Now, we can create a loyal government. Partition the island of uh, island between England and Scotland. That's pretty tempting. Divide the island between England, Wales, and Scotland. That's even more tempting. Uh, occupy England. No, we're not doing that one. We're going to divide it. All right. Look at this. Boom. A new order in Britain. Following the defeat of the Union of Britain, the occupation will now officially come to an end with... Im with the imposition of new borders, after a half a millennia of union, England, Scotland, and Wales have been divided, divided one more, once more. Our armies will continue to remain heavily involved, helping prop up the new English, Scottish, and Welsh governments until some point we may deem them more trustworthy. Loyal collaborators seeking to remake these islands anew and revive once lost normal national identities will take over much day-to-day -day running, particularly in suppressing the ongoing con continuation insurgencies of loyal, uh, loyal unionists or union loyalists. While the British may yet res uh, resist, in time the republics of England, Scotland and Wales will cement their place in the world and the concept of British nation will be relegated to the dustbin of history once and for all. An isle, an isle once whole shattered forever. There we go. Scotland. Look at this. We got England. Look at that with the flag. And we got Wales. The liberation of Wales. Alright, the fate of Argentina. Liberate uh, Argentina. I don't want to occupy it. Chile, again, we're going to liberate Chile. Don't want to occupy it. Chad. Should we militarily occupy Chad? Yes. All right, Chad is ours. We have the land that is called Chad. All right, that's ours. Very good. Fate of Mar uh, Mauritania. Yeah, we're going to just liberate wherever the hell that is. <laughs> I've got no idea where that is. Fate of Mali. 
Uh, we are going to, you know, we just form the, just all these African places. We're just getting a bit. Madagascar, form state of Madagascar. Liberia, create a loyal Liberia. What even? Now what is that? F fate of night, Niger. But, yep, Niger, definitely Niger. Uh, fate of the Ivory Coast. Yes, form the state of Ivory Coast. And then the fate of Norway. Now, this is one I was looking forward to. Establish a Norwegian Republic. Restore the Norwegian monarchy. No, we're not doing no monarchy. We don't like the monarchy. Establish a Norwegian Republic. There we go. Just like us, the Russian Republic, and we have a Norwegian Republic. There they are. Italy united. Yes. Italy united under democracy now. In the Moscow Accord. Now, there's definitely more. Yep, look, way more. The fate of this? What is Le... Uh, okay, oh, they must be here. Uh, give it to... Give it to Spain, I suppose, yeah. The fate of Northern Chile. Give it to Chile. The fate of Luxembourg. Why can't we just liberate Luxembourg? I want Luxembourg, man. What? Ah, oh, we have to give it to Belgium then. All right, it's not going to Germany, that's for sure. Ours is Lorraine. Now, this is an interesting one. Should we give it to Germany or France? I think we should give it to France. Yes, Germany, you are terrible, all right? We're not... Northern... Oh, that'll be here. Give it to Denmark. We don't need it. Where? Argentina, sure. Savoy. Oh. Um, give it to Italy, because Italy are our allies. Fate of Brittany. Oh, here, sorry. We'll give it to France. I'm not bothering with that. Uh, nice. We're also going to give it to France. Where is that? I'm going to give it to France as well. Northern France. Uh, sh should we give Northern France to Belgium? Split it between France and Belgium. Yes. Uh, southern. Okay. And Corsica. Corsica can go to Italy. There we go. Alright, there's still probably a bunch more, so let's just get let the game run for a bit, and then open- Oh, just Northern France left. Alright, Northern France, that will go to France. There we go, so they'll have Lille still. Dunkirk has gone to Belgium though, which is interesting. Return French lands, return Turkish lands. You know what? Sure. Uh, yep, and yep. Turn to them. Brilliant! Is that it? I think that's it. Excellent, there we go. The Moscow Accord is, you know, is the best. All right, we're not going to America, and we're not at war with the Entente. We probably should have given the Entente to England, but well, the, Eng the, the English to the Entente. Rise in Senecy, resistance in Chad. <laughs> of course, there's resistance in Chad. Where the hell are they? All right, no, we're occupying this. Thank you very much. We're, we're at war with Persia. I'm not dealing with Persia, all right? They can just, they're not going to win. Okay? We all know what's going to happen. I'm going to take them, and then we're gonna, I'm going to puppet them with the peace deal thing decisions so that was a good that was a good play uh playthrough of kaiserreich i thought that was pretty fun um russia is actually pretty easy especially keeping the russian republic wasn't too bad we are obviously going to return to russia because there's multiple different paths you can play as russia but the republic was just the first one i saw and i thought why not let's do it uh we got prussia could have given that to poland but whatever prussia's cool so we're having prussia we got germany and prussia how funny is that <laughs> they probably don't like each other anyway Thanks for watching the video. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Shout out to my Patreons, they're on screen right now. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. This video was a long one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.